Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So Nikki, you asked for an updated wax closet tour and that's what we're doing today. So in the previous videos I showed you guys, I did one video for wax and I did one video for candles. I'm gonna try to get all done in one because for the most part, not much has changed. Not much has changed <laughs> at all. And if you guys watch my empties, you know that I do melt through quite a bit. I go through a lot of wax and I'm constantly in here reorganizing this and while I do melt through a lot, I do still order. Um, and basically like I go through things seasonally um, and like I just, I order and then I replenish. So as things are like emptying out, I'm replacing them with newer stuff. So everything you see in here, there's really nothing super old. There are a couple like super old things, but as I come in, and organize through here I always tend to grab like the older stuff and get to melting one area I've really cleared out as you can see is my vintage chic shelf that's like pretty much gone you guys remember I had like four sampler bags up here I had like how many loaves um those are all out of there used up and then on the candle side <laughs> I feel like this might have grown a little, although I made a bit of a dent in the fall section. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get into it. I'll start with wax and I'll finish with the candles. As always over here, this is where I put my to film stuff. So like if I get an order, if I shop, anything I want to haul, make a video on, I put right over here. So right now, I just have a small Bath and Body Works um, purchase that I just made yesterday, which was the last day of the semi-annual sale. Um, so yeah, so let's get into it. Let's start over here because this is my scarf area <laughs> and also my monthly melting basket. So if you guys watch my melting basket videos, um, I am the worst. I never stick to it. I mean, I do, I stick to it, but like I'll turn around here and I'll start grabbing stuff from over here and putting more shit in here. And like I said, like I'm constantly, constantly reorganizing and moving shit around in this closet so as I like organize like I said if I find like older stuff things that just need to be melted I move them over to this shelf which is I just literally like come through this door and like grab and go like this is the first place I look when I'm like in the morning afternoon whatever it is and I'm looking for what to melt I zoom and beeline right in here so the one thing that was new was this Zape Lavender Soda. So I've realized like she has this every restock, almost every restock. It's one of her most popular scents. People love it. She pours it all the time. So I was like, why am I hoarding this? Because there are some Zape scents, like example, Sleigh Ride or whichever one that is, um, that she pours once a year, like her seasonal blends. I think that is Sleigh Ride, right? Yeah. Like, oh no, it's Holiday Barbie. Anyway, it's in here somewhere. So Sleigh Ride, like she pours this once a year and this is one of my favorites so oh my god look I use that Bath and Body Works glittery lotion and I'm sparkling like a whore anyway <laughs> um she pours this like once a year and again I want to try not to hoard it because this is like a seasonal scent anyway I don't need this like I'm not going to pull this out and melt it in June so whenever I have it in the basket um but like lavender soda she's always pouring this is like a year-round scent for me and oh look it matches my nails I had a lavender soda loaf and it was well over a year old. You'll see it in my empties. Um, I just finished it this month and it was still throwing like a beast. So I was like, you know what? This is from May. Let me put this over my melting basket for when I don't know what the hell it melts in the morning. I can just grab this one because why hoard it and hold on to it when she pours it all the time? Um, other than that, I would say everything's kind of stayed the same in the melting basket. You saw these things. Um, this is a new one I added in, but it's almost gone already. Same with this one, and it's almost not runny. I have another Better Homes in there. I threw in a couple more laundry scents that I just, like, found. I had a box behind me that I thought was, like, my fizzy summer scents. And one day I was organizing it, and I found all these, like, laundry scents in it. I guess I started it as, like, a laundry basket. Because you'll see behind me, everything is categorized into scents. I really don't categorize by vendor because that doesn't matter to me. Like, if I'm going to melt something, I'm not like, hmm, I'm going to melt super tarts today. Like, I don't think like that. I'm like, I want to melt fresh today, or I want to melt bakery today. So I keep everything categorized by season and by scents. I could give a shit less if I mix vendors. That, like, doesn't matter. Um, and you'll only see I do have one bin that's literally just super tarts and that's because all of her scents are the same like so it's all of the super tarts I have are like spa scents um so it looks like it's like 
together by Super Tarts, but it's not. It's like my spa basket, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, yeah, so I added this to, I don't know, I was really, really craving bakery, like, this past, like, week to two weeks. Um like really craving bakery so I was like organizing my wax and I pulled in some different bakery scents and I realized like I really don't have a lot of bakery the only bakery I had was like fall um so I really want to get some more bakery I kind of like felt and that's why this is in here too I bakery was like one of my first loves when I was like into candles and stuff and then I kind of drifted away from it and now I'm like back for it not like cinnamon bakery but like sugar cookie and like vanilla scents I've always loved vanilla though um, yeah, I threw Slay right in here. I'm almost done with this Frosty. I really want to finish it. There's some L3, and then that's about it. And then I think everything else is the same. I just chopped this, like I said. I had a couple of VCS loaves, and they were up there. And I saw this was, like, over a year, so I'm like, you know what? Let's just finish this guy. And I have, I've really been enjoying this one, though. I am so effing glittery. This is ridiculous. See, this is why I was bitching about that lotion. Like, I don't want to live my life like this. Oh, but I kind of look like a fairy. But like right now I'm home alone. I am just home alone. Well, the dogs are here. I'm waiting for furniture delivery. I have furniture being delivered like literally all day today. We have a lot of shit coming. Oh my God. Oh my God. I feel like fucking Tinkerbell. Um, anyway, yeah, the rest of the same. These two loaves from Rose Girls, which are about cure. Yeah, October. I can chop these up and start melting these. Um, that's really good. And then moving on down here, I have a couple of boxes over there. Um, those are empty, right? Yeah, those are empty. Um, I'm not sure why they're here. I think they're just, yeah, these are empty. I think they're just packaging in there. Like if I want to like send something to a friend or like do a stash or something, which I've never done. Um, I have like, I'm a hoarder. So I just have a lot of boxes. <laughs> these are all empty. There's no wax in any of these. These are 110% fucking empty I just keep them because I'm a hoarder and they go all the way back um but I have problems don't ask I don't know I keep the boxes because I'm like I can use them like instead of getting storage bins I just reuse the boxes and then if I want to mail someone something I have them um anyway this box right here is all shit that I'm going to be giving away this is stuff that I just don't like Ugh, this was disgusting um, like, I don't like tea and cakes, so this is in here. Um, I don't like floral, so this is in here. But a lot of the stuff, well, not a lot of it, I don't know, it's like half and half. Some stuff is new, some stuff is a little old. What's this? Oh, I don't like blueberry. Um, this is like a vintage chic. But see, like, this is from 2016. It's 2018 now. Um, this is fairly new. This is from, nope, this is a year old. It's a year old. Um, this was just awful. I couldn't even, this smells so bad. Um, this is just all stuff I do not like. Like, I'm never going to melt it. It smells bad to me. I just don't want it. Um, why hold on to stuff that I don't like? So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I really don't. Oh, there's some rose girls in here. This had a really funky smell to me. Um, anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do with that stuff. It's stuff I don't know. I don't know because I, like... My friends in wax, we have like the same, like we like the same things. Um, we have the same like scent preferences. So I'm not going to send one of my waxy friends a whole bag of ass wax that I think literally smells like ass. Um, I'll probably just throw it out to be honest. I mean, that's super wasteful, but I don't know. That's why it's sitting there because I don't know what to do with it. <sighs> this is just polypropylene bags. This is literally a bag of bags. It's all polypropylene bags. Some of them look a little janky because... I throw my Super Tarts clamshells into a polypropylene bag and then I reuse it. <laughs> when I get a new clamshell, I like, when a clamshell's finished, I take the bag out and then I get a new clamshell, I reuse it. I don't send my friends wax in old polypropylene bags, that's just for me to reuse. Um, like I said, I'm a hoarder. I wish I threw shit out, but I don't. <laughs> um, this is stuff that needs to be cured. So there's a lot of BCS in here. There's some newer Rose Girls, like from this past December. Um, this is from my latest Southbound pre-order, um, poured in December, but I'm not going to melt the strawberry stuff for like the spring or summer. There is some BCS. I did that most recent BCS haul. Um, so this is all stuff. This is all going to sit here for months and months and months and cure up and be ready to go and then I'll melt it. And this is stuff that's almost fully cured. Like this, for example, is from March. So this will be good in a couple of months. This is from March. Um, so yeah, that, that needs like another month. I actually melted a piece of this and it just wasn't strong enough. 
So this is stuff that like, if I think it's pure, like this, I melted some of this and I couldn't smell it. So like, it's almost ready to go. I'm gonna pull it out within the next few months. So this is like, means a long time curing and then it like, it moves its way over here. Things move out of here and go away, etc., etc. That's my system. <laughs> That's my curing system, if you wanted to know. <sighs> God, I'm out of breath, anyway let's just start with the bottom. I feel like that's going to make it easier. Um, and these are like all my Zape cards, letters from friends, um, from vendors. When my wax friends send me letters, it, it just like melts my heart. I love letters. I love like pen pals and just like the friends I've met in this community. So yes, I save everything. And that's not just because I'm a hoarder. It's because I, it makes my heart feel happy. Um, and I love these little Zape cards. They're cute. And you know what? It's just prettier seeing this than it is seeing boxes. Another Zape card up there. Um, more Zape cards up there. It's just, you'll see a pattern. <laughs> um, so this is my new system. I don't think I did this um, previous in the last collection video I showed you guys. And I think I just had like bins that had scents in it. Like for example, these are coffee scents. This is like nothing but coffee scented wax. So that's all that's in here. Uh, oh, this one is so good. I melted this the other day. Red Cup Season. It's peppermint mocha. It's so amazing. This Rose Girls coffee is really good too. And it's almost done. Um, and then this is marshmallow, but this doesn't go here. This is like a spring scent. I think I'm going to put that in there. Um, there's serendipity because that just goes well with coffee. And then my mom got me these Dunkin' Donuts coffee candles. So, uh, clearly they're in my coffee drawer. Here's another coffee-ish scent. Um, another Zape coffee. Zape coffee is my favorite of all, like, all the vendors make coffee. I would say Zape and VCS, uh, make the best coffee for me. Here's a VCS doily. You remember those? I wish she still sold those. That was a cute touch. I miss them. <sighs> Can I breathe? Anyway. Um, that's all coffee scents and the reason that they're all together here and like why I don't put coffee scents in my melting basket is because I have to be in the mood for coffee. Like there are some mornings where I'm like, I want to be productive. I'm just going to melt coffee scents. So I know I'm in the mood for it. I just come over here and grab it. And then this is all fall scents. So this used to be my Christmas box. Um, but I don't have any more Christmas scents anymore because I melted them all. Because I only buy as much as I need. I do not hoard Christmas scents. Um, because there's no point for me. It's just going to wait around for a year. So why bother? Um, I pretty much melted through all my fall. Like, so like up there where I used to have all those VCS samplers. Uh, one was a fall sampler. One was a Christmas sampler. I finished both of those. Um, I had a shit ton of fall. Like this whole shelf was like fall. Like these two bins were full of fall. Like I had so much mofo fall wax um and i'm really proud to say that i melted most of it because a lot of this is new this isn't like there's a couple things that are left over like this patchouli uh but this is paraffin that'll last a long time there's a little bit left of the sanderson sisters which i'll finish probably this summer sanderson sisters i start melting in like august um because i just love that one and then these are new rainbow melts um these are just some like rainbow melts fall from the christmas sampler there's some l3 some more Rainbow Melts Folly Scents, Brown Sugar Pecan, um, more Rainbow Melts, more L3. Yeah, so these are just, and then there's stuff from the Super Tarts Advent that's just like super fallish to me. Um, so these are all fall scents for this coming fall. And then, <sighs> that's empty. I just thought that was that Rainbow Melts um, Christmas sampler that I got and I just thought it was so cute. There's no way I'm gonna be able to, I should move that over there by the fall side, but whatever. Um, so this is my new system. This is what I've been doing lately. When I come in and I organize, so I make my melting baskets for every month and I've been getting a couple months ahead of myself. So up here on the second shelf, these are just Walmart wax clamshells and then this is all my bedtime melts. We'll go through this. This is all like lavender, pink sugar, anything I would melt going to sleep at night. And then this blue bin, is next month's melting basket. So current month is behind me that I just showed you. And then the next month will be here. So this is February's, the start of February's melting basket. I start to build my theme. I start to think about it. I start to get stuff together that'll go for the next month. And then because I'm super OCD and obsessive, I do the next couple months. So February, this is March and this is April. But I may end up like, typically what happens with these two, is I end up kind of like combining them. So this is when I kind of let it go month by month and it just gets seasonal. So like February is still wintry stuff. This is like laundry, peppermint, etc. 
Um, and then for the following month, so March is getting into like spring, Easter. I have no idea when Easter is this time of year. So like I have Easter scents here, not necessarily April. These are more like Easter. I start to melt like cotton candy, pink sugar, marshmallow. Like that's like my fall type of scents because I do not do floral. Um, and then March, March is usually, well, March is my least favorite month. I really hate March. <laughs> um, I hate the spring. I hate, hate, I like the winter better than I like the spring. Guys, I hate the spring so much. It's my least favorite. Well, I don't know. I feel like winter and spring kind of tie. I honestly hate them both. Um, I really do. If it could just be summer, fall, summer, fall, I'd be happy. Um, spring is like a cock tease to me, at least here in New York. Like it's usually still fucking cold. And then when the days are nice and like you can go outside, my allergies are just so miserable. My allergies are the worst in the spring. They're absolutely unbearable. Um, so like it'll be nice outside, but guess who can't go outside? Me. Like I just, the bugs start coming back to life. I just, the spring is awful. I hate it. I really do. Just like give me hot, humid weather and give me summer. Um, so anyway, March, I never really know what to melt. I kind of just melt whatever the hell I'm feeling. Um, so for a theme, I tried to do minty because it's still going to be like cold and wintry, minty, fresh, and incense. For whatever reason, like winter to spring transition, I tend to like incense-y type of scents. I like them a lot in the fall, but I also like them that spring, uh, winter to spring transition. So there's one incense-y scent here, the VCS Woodstock, and then let me like not have my address blaring everywhere. Um, what's this? Menthol sweater, rather jaws. This is like good for when you're feeling sick. Um, some cakery, fakery, bakery, blah, blah, blah. Can I talk? Cucumber, eucalyptus, experiment. So yeah, just like minty stuff. And then there's like some poor girls in there. And then over here, these are like Easter scents. And this has become like cotton candy, um, cotton candy and wild berry. There's a lot of like wild berry mousse in here. Like for example, uh, this is a VCS love that Betty Page leaves in Vaudeville. Uh, my friend sent this to me. Blonde Moment, Satsuma, Vanilla, Be Noel, and Wild Berry Mousse. I chopped it up. That's going to be a really nice, like, springy time scent. Um, and then there's some, like, uh, what's this called? Snow Fairy. I felt like that would be a good spring scent. Um, Ballerina Clouds. And that's why I threw the marshmallow in here, because now we're getting, like, marshmallowy scents. This is a pink sugar scent. Um velvet sugar so like really pretty like girly sweet cotton candy wild berry those are the scents that i like in the springtime marshmallow and that's everything that's over here plum wild berry um so yeah that's all those scents and that's kind of like as we're coming into easter like winter to springy transition spring type scents so yeah i get a little bit ahead of myself but that is my new system and then over here i have these walmart waxes which i haven't really made a dent in but maybe a little bit uh, these are some fall ones. Oh my god, this is so old. Girl, at some point you should finish that shit. Um, but then it's empty. These are all cherry limeade because I couldn't find these at all last year, so I hoarded them and bought a whole sleeve. But I do really love that one. That's all the lavender sugar, and then I think vanilla cookie crunch. Um, violet sugar. I this these this row will probably come out in the spring. That violet sugar and pink velvet. Those two I like in the springtime. Um, and then there's some tea time. There's some pistachio. I am so hot right now. Like I have to roll up my sweatpants. I am so hot. <sighs> and I don't know why. So these are my bedtime scents. These are all like lavender scents to fall asleep to. There's some BCS in here. Um, look at this, guys. L3 bakery bags are the fucking worst. Like, how did that happen? They get so janky. Oh my god. This like aggravates the fuck out of me. I have to bring this over here, put it downstairs. Not like I don't have enough polypropylene bags to change it out, but anyway, I have some of that. That's some country lane keepsakes. I just chopped up this VCS loaf and pillow talk. Sweet lavender, fluffy white cake and strawberry. I really like this one. I just love her strawberry. I will go through this really quickly because I won't just melt this in the bedroom. I'll melt this around the house like at night too. Um, we have my husband's favorite. I kind of like savor through this. This is go to sleep. That scared the fuck out of me. I hate house sounds. Um, Laveau lavender cream, raw sugar crystal buttercream. This one was really good. It just wasn't that strong. Um, black amber lavender. That's like some freshy vintage cheese. There's some barber shop in here. 
Ooh, I gotta use this up. That's old. Um, but I did use some other older barbershop. Like I finished one of these and it was still pretty damn strong. So yeah. Anyway, that's my like sleepy time. And I used to have like other ones back here, but I used them all up. There's really not much in here. I did pretty well with that. Um, but I did order some more VCS, which I believe is down there curing. There's like a grandma's pearl loaf or something. Anyway, here is next month's melting basket. So should I like not go through this? Cause I feel like that'll ruin the surprise. Um, there's some of this and pink sugar stress relief, which I went back and forth. I didn't know if I wanted to put this in here, but then I was like, I could just use this during the day. That'll be like a good daytime melt. But then also at night, um, let's see. There's a laundry scent. I really like laundry scents this time of year. Um, some freshy fresh, some laundry. I oh, know that's a fresh scent. That's like a laundry scent. Um, and then I have the So White Olive Branch to create that Rose Girl scent. I forget what the fuck it's called. I don't know what this is back here. Sugar Snow. How many islands? Some minty, some freshy, some shaving cream. Yada yada. Anyway, I'm sure we'll go more into detail in that in a few weeks when I do my February melting basket. Um, this is all just peppermint stuff. So this is all just like peppermint. This is another one I can do in the bedroom, but like I don't do like the peppermint blends in here. Um, simply because if I want peppermint, like I want a minty scent. I'm not going to like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to like just be looking through here and be like, ew, peppermint. Um, no, like I'll know if I want peppermint at night. So I'll like reach into this thing. And I'm just, I think it's like pink sugar, peppermint, pink sugar, birthday cake, lavender. This one's really good. Um... So yeah, I sleep with peppermint on its own because also like during the day, like not going to sleep, I may want a peppermint blend, like for example, rosemary mint. Um, yeah, so that's that. <sighs> this I'll never melt. Um, it's cute. I leave it out just for display. And the reason why I never melt this is because as you can see, I have melted it and it has a scent throw of approximately zero. Absolutely sucks. Super tarts, white walkers, can't smell shit. So I'm like, whatever, I'll just leave it there to be cute. Um, Kringle Slate, I really should melt this. I love that scent. Um, but I can't bring myself to melt it because the Kringle store that was by me closed down and now I can't go to buy it anymore. I have to get it online and that's annoying. Um, that's an empty bag and that was the lavender sampler that these two are from. So the reason I left the empty bag up here is because when all these are done, I'll put the whole thing in my empties and be like, I finished a sampler. Again, maybe that's my hoarder mentality. Um, this is like, these two bins are pretty much like company scents, if you will. Um, these are pink sugar blends and these are love spell blends. And I just like, pink sugar love spell has kind of become like my signature home fragrance, if that makes sense. Like, those are the scents I go to, like whenever I have my friends over and like, anytime they come over, it's kind of at the point where it's like, oh my God, your house smells like Lindsay. Like, I always do pink sugar love spell when my friends come over and it's like just become the signature fragrance of my home so that's why I have them categorized together because it's like whenever I have friends over and like in the summer we have people over a lot and like these are really good summer scents um so that's why these are all on their own here but sometimes I do dip into this just to melt on my own oh look linen I should put this over here actually I should put this over here so I'm doing a lot of like laundry scents this month um, that wasn't supposed to be in there. This is so good. I'm going to need Rachel to pour a bakery bag. Liz, if you're watching this, can you just like whisper in Rachel's ear? Can we please get a purple cotton candy? Like one of these guys. <laughs> I need this in a pre-order. This is so fucking good. Like there's just not enough grape scents out there and I find grapes so hard to find and I love it, especially in the springtime. Grape is like oh, this fucking glitter though. Ugh, great. <laughs> I can't. Um, Grape is so good in the spring. Yeah, Liz, please, 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 please make her pour this in a bakery bag. I need this in my life. I, like, can't melt this little piece until I have a giant hoard of this, like, to go. I just, I need more of it. It's so good. It's, I love it. Um, This is just Love Spell from DW. Tropical Love Spell. This is so good. There's a little chunk left, Um, but I do have a whole bakery bag of this. So I want to finish. Actually, let's put this... February I can do this in February no this is done in February I want to finish this before the year's up I'm just gonna throw that over there um 
This is what I mean. Like when I go through and organize, I always end up like throwing shit in there if it's too old. This is really good too. I would not mind having a bakery bag of this limelight. This is amazing. Um, I'm just saving this for the spring to melt, and I thought this would be a nice one when people are over too. It's like bright and citrusy, but also love spell. Uh, Tiffany Candles love spell. Hers is really good too. And Hayden Rose love spell, which I would get a loaf in this. Hayden Rose love spell is phenomenal and super duper strong. This is definitely my hands down favorite love spell blend ever. Um, super Tarts Mary Jane Watson. It's pink sugar and love spell, and it is crazy retarded strong. Oh God, this is January. Damn it. <laughs> But I do have a backup of this somewhere, so I'm just going to throw this in here. <laughs> anyway, um, Love Spell, April Downy Fresh. This is really good, too. Why the hell is Sparkling Lemoncello in here? I don't like this. Actually, I'm just going to, yeah. <laughs> All right. And why, keep, like, that's just kind of how I am. Like, why keep stuff that doesn't make me happy? I'm not going to melt it. I'm not going to keep it. Um, that sparkling limoncello, like I'm just not, I mean, I might, I kept it in here cause I was like, oh, maybe if I'm like making fish or cooking, I'll do it. But I don't know. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's sad. That's all that's left of the love spell. And then these are like, like creamy cotton. Actually, I'll put creamy cotton in here. Um, not that it matters, but it's good with pink sugar. Vintage cotton is vanilla lace and pink sugar. Bad romance is vanilla lace and shaving cream. Vanilla lace is another one I like to have on when people are over. Orange is the new pink. This one is so good. Um, yeah, and then there's another pink sugar love spell in here. That one's by Tiffany. This one is amazing. Pink drink by Zape. <gasps> so good. Pink sugar lemonade. Seeing pink is another amazing one. Um, flirty is so good too. I just love these. Oh, this is game over. My in-laws love this one. That's why this is in here. Um, because I like to put game over on when they come over. It's one of their favorites. And this is my super tart bin, aka spa bin, aka stuff I melt when I'm sick. Because there's a lot of like eucalyptus, I don't know, good spa scents when you're sick. Um, there's Taint, Lord of the Mouth Golem, which is Blackberry and the Omen, Bloody Face. Oh, we can put this one in here. Boink. <laughs> it's a pink sugar. Um, I try to keep like the pink sugar, love spell, things like that together. Um, since that I like when people come over, because I want to keep this just like spa, Briar Cliff, Brody's Bounty. Um, this is another one I like when people are over strawberries and satsuma. Ooh, ooh, look at that date. I'm going to have to melt that. Super tart does not last over a year for me, so we'll see how this guy does. It's kind of warm today. I may put that on today and just see how it does. Yep, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to take this out and actually melt this when I finish this video. Um, this was really nice when I was sick. I'm almost done with it. The snodberries, um, Annabeth, talk about almost done. I think there's like one piece left in this too. Um, yes! <laughs> I love that one. Um, the Omen, Magically Delicious. This is so good. Um, here are my like sick melts. Well, not a game. That's just like a nice laundry one. I have a lot of games. Um, yeah, so there's that. And I'm totally putting this on. When this is over, we have some scoopables. Why are we not organized? Wildberry Moose. This is right out here because the bag is cute. It's the only thing I have from Candles from the Keeping Room. And this is another one I really enjoy when I have people over because it's a nice craft-pleasing scent. Um, but it is getting pretty old, and I should finish it. Actually, these would be good together. I'm going to put these guys on when I'm out of here. It's not very seasonal, but it's like... A really warm day today and it's really hot and stuffy in here um I have my Tiffany scoopables this one is I think volcano yep this is volcano type another one I like when I have people over because I can do my volcano candles and like that um this is just fizzy pop this is really good and strong and this is pink peppermint I really like this one I just wish it was stronger but I guess that's fine in the bedroom um back here I have my zeke scoopable and pep rally um this is about halfway done I really enjoy this in the fall and winter, and I do grab for it now, like, on a chilly night, because this is, like, a nice, like, kind of like an outdoor bonfire-y type of scent. There's tobacco in here. It's really, really nice on, like, a chilly night, um, but I was kind of, like, craving this in the summer, like, you know, how I love my, like, summer bonfire, like, fireside and beachy scents together, and that's kind of what I was saving this guy for. Um, I'll probably finish this in the summer. Um, this is a similar one. This is Salty Sea Air and Toasted Marshmallow, kind of like a beachy bonfire type of scent. And it's almost done. I really love L3 Scoopables. I like her Scoopables better than her regular wax. Um, her scoops are my favorite way to go. This is amazing. Ginger Ale Blackberry Mango. This is so good. I like it better than the VCS one that I ripped off to make this scent. <laughs> um... Over here we have shaving cream and oh my god olive and actually this one I'm going to throw in here in the February pile because that's like a good freshy scent that would go with my February scents. 
So see how every time I go in here, I make changes. Like that's why it's always different. Um, back here, I have what's left of my BAM bags. So all I have is a little bit of Mother of Dragons that I'm just kind of saving for the spring, spring, summer. Um, Jaws, I've been reaching for a lot lately. I like this one in like January, February, March. Um, so you'll probably be seeing this guy in February's melting basket, if not February, March's. Um, mouse ears. I wish I like went through this more over the summer, but I had a clamshell that I finished. It's just so strong that I just go through it like really slowly, um, but I don't want it to lose scent. And I find the older mouse ears get, the less the lemonade comes through and the more the lollipop comes through and it's like a little too sweet for me. Um, sweet berry jam that is saving for the springtime. And these are all like springtime melts. Again, these kind of go with that thing you saw down there. Um, these are all like wild berry candy. There's some fizzies in here. Blackberry ginger ale. So this is like spring and then getting into summer. Some bomb pops and etc. etc. Oh, this one's so good. Star Spangled Fizz. So these will be like my spring to summer transitional scents. And then up here we have bakery bags. So last time I made this video, it was almost all Sassy Girl Aroma bakery bags. Sassy Girl Aroma has been dethroned by Southbound and she is my new favorite when it comes to bakery bags. Um, I have only one left of the VCS. There was a bunch here the last time. I've used up all my VCS bakery bags with the exception of these two. Her Bomb Pop Martini does not throw for me, but this blend throws exceptionally well. Um, and this is another one that'll go with there. This'll be a good like springtime melt for me. Um, I have this bag of Beach Nights. I have one over here, but it literally only has one little cube left. I've been using this at nighttime. Um, I love Beach Nights. It smells exactly like the lotion, which is one of my faves. Uh, vanilla Lay, Salty Sear, Toasted Marshmallow. This is like a company scent. Kind of goes in with here, like the Bad Romance. Those are the poor girl scents that I had. And behind it is Mac Apple, Salty Sea Air, and Shaving Cream. That's like a really good end of summer scent for me, like August. And then there's Carnival Runway, which is just your typical carnival scent. Good for the end of summer because I used all my carnival blends last year. Um, Pink Sugar Love Style. So again, that would like go right in here. That's just one of those type of scents. And same thing with this Tropical Love Spell. This is so strong, so good. Um, Graveyard Spells, that's another Love Spell blend. I, these are like my two favorite Love Spell blends. I just love them so much. Um, Soda Pop Shop, amazing. This is over a year old, but Soda Pop Shop lasts a long time for me. Um, Peppermint Sinus Relief. I'm almost done with that. And then I have one more sinus relief back there. I keep those on hand for when I'm sick and they really come in handy for that. Pink Coconut Cream. This is one of my husband's other favorite bedroom scents. Um, we use this a lot at night along with that go, go to sleep blend. Coconut Cream Float. That one's really good, really fucking strong. Coconut Cream Float is like crazy strong, almost a little too strong. Um, lavender Orange Soda. That smells really good. I haven't melted this yet, so I don't know how strong it is. Um, that's all for that. I typically don't like Southbound's Lavender, but these two I really, really love. So Lavender Orange Soda and Pink Bedtime Blend. These you really can't smell her lavender too strong, and they're just amazing. And then that's it. And then I have two fall blends. I have Witching Hour underneath this pain in the ass hanger, and then I have Ghostly Brew. Super good, super strong, and these will be perfectly cured by the time I break them out next fall. Um, and then I only have one more VCS. Oh, wait, there's a loaf back there. Watch, it's empty, because that's the kind of hoarder I am. Yeah, I hate myself. <gasps> oh my God. Did I even talk about this? I'm gonna put this in my empties because I actually sent all of this to my friend Liz because I just couldn't do it. Um, it didn't throw for me. Um, so yeah. <sighs> this is the Goodnight Sweetheart Sampler. These are all about a year old. I have to chop these like this week and get to melting those. Um, I have a little bit left of Backwards Barbie. That'll melt in the spring and that incense one. <sighs> so that is it. And that is the updated wax closet. As you can see, not much has changed. Things have been used, but things have been replaced just as quickly. Um, moving on to the candle side. Let's try to make this quick since we're already like 30 minutes in. Up here, I just have like, I don't even know. <laughs> um, there's more scarves over here because I have a problem. And so I have my suntan candle there that my friend Beth so amazingly sent me. Just like amazing. I'm going to break it. See, I thought I don't deserve it. Um, anyway. Can we do this? I think it's a fucking glitter lotion on my hand. Anyway, you can tell what it is. Ooh, just lifting that cap, you can smell it, and it smells so good. So suntan, and then 
there's garbage, but I mean, that's literally garbage that I'm just keeping because I'm a hoarder. Um, there's raspberry peach macaroon with the little like Easter bunny candle charm that I use around Easter time. And I'll probably bring this guy out around the spring too. So I'm just like getting ready for spring here. I usually like put some candles on display like for the next season. So some sweet shop candles, some spring scents, some cotton candy, um, tea light candles. My mom gave me this. It was like a re-gift, but it's a votive holder. And then there's some electric tea lights. And these guys I put out in the summertime, this little sandcastle candle holder, and then the coral candle holder I put on my coffee table in the family room. And this has stayed the same. Some tea lights, a bunch of four ounce candles, some um, more garbage. Um, that shade thing that I never use, some fall candle holders, a tea light warmer, um, a summery wallflower plug-in that I'll plug in in the summer. Down here we can see my empties. So this is what I have so far for January and we're only two weeks into January and I already have two giant bags filled so that'll be a long video. Um, and then there's some more garbage, literally empty boxes and a random fucking lid. I'm the worst. Um, this is getting ready for like next season. So these are all Easter springtime scents. So this is like a gardenia, I think. This is a nest candle and white camellia i don't know it's some gross floral scent but one of my clients gave it to me and fortunately it's not that strong so i'll put it out in the spring um and then there's some bath and body works what's that one there's a coffee one i have the happy easter candle the peeps candle this is just all like stuff that i'll put out around the springtime um and then that's like a spring scent spring and then over here are just summer scents um these are all like partially burnt halfway burnt just like things that I'm like girl finish this summer get them out of here you don't have room for them and starting at the bottom I just have like again some summer scents that are just like partially burnt that I want to finish this summer that's just the backup lavender um this guy's about halfway done I like him a lot in the spring so I'll take that out in the spring I just didn't have room to put it over there um and then I'll finish this one in the summer this one I may end up just hoarding because I love this scent I love the packaging um I should have gotten more, but I couldn't, I couldn't find them. We have what's left of my Christmas candles back here. I have those six Bath and Body Works. I have a couple over here. And then I have the couple of Yankee candles that I bought at the semi-annual sale. That little Boston candle I got from Home Goods. I got this from a small, a little small business in Newport, Rhode Island. I love their candles. <sighs> the pineapple snow globe. I have another bow up here. And then, yeah, we have sugared apple, Christmas at the beach, fresh balsam and some random bath body. So I've used a lot of my Christmas candles. Um, but like I said, I typically don't hoard Christmas candles because I only use them for one month. And I do have a couple downstairs that I'm still finishing. So that's why that looks so sparse. Uh, my fall shelf, I have this little seashell that I painted. And I think, didn't I write something on the inside of this? Probably a love note. Yep. <laughs> um, I gave that to Dan and he gave it back to me. Womp. Anyway, that was like when we first started dating and I used to do like stupid little shit like that for him um because I was like 19 and he was a lot older and I was like here I need you this um anyway uh fall stuff yeah I really am disappointed I haven't like done anything I want to at least finish that goblin goo candle but I didn't um I feel like I got through a lot of the little candles in the fall um but most of these like these Halloween ones I'm just like hoarding because these were like the trick-or-treat and like these guys were like the last time they made cute cool Halloween candles. They used to actually look like spooky and Halloween-y. Now they're like so juvenile and cartoony and I don't like them at all. Except for this one. It's super cute. This, if you got it, haunted little black cat candle. Um, anyway, some more fall candles over here. I have a bunch of chestnut and cloves because that's my fave. Um, just really good fall scents. And then these guys, I have this little super tarts candle that I got in the advent, but it's a fall scent. My friend gave me this candle from Australia. It's a woodwick and... I forgot the scent. Isn't that so cute? I think it's tobacco. Um, it's going to go in my bathroom, but I have a candle there now. So I just have it here till I finish the other woodwick that's in my master bath. Super cute though, right? Oh, cognac and Cubans is the scent. Yeah. I just, I love it because it's from Australia and it's from my friend and it makes me happy. Um, and I just love that box. It's super cute. Um, even after I melt the candle, burn the candle, I'll probably keep that box. Just like cute keepsake. Um, I have these three fallish candles. Um, I still have all these crates of fall. I mean, I did melt a lot of fall candles, but clearly I do have a lot left. 
And moving on, I have my summer candles. I had way more. I feel like I've gone through a lot of the summer candles, but as you can see, I do have all those guys down here. Um, I do burn candles surprisingly a lot in the summer. Summer is my favorite sense when it comes to candles. I just, I love um, summer scented candles. I love coconut and beachy scents and things like that. It's definitely my hands down favorite category of scents. Um, the reason I moved a lot of them down here and why I don't have as much here aside from the fact that I burnt them is also just, I always get scared. Do you remember Canada Kim's video where like, I think her shelf did fall down. Like I don't want it to be too heavy. Like this one is a double line shelf. You can see it down here. And this is like really sturdy. Like if I press up on this, it doesn't move. Whereas like when I was pulling up on this, it would like move a little bit. So I knew it was getting too heavy. So I really wanted to lighten the shelf up. Um, this is okay. And that's also why I push everything back. So if the shelf were to break or fall, it would like fall down that way and there's candles underneath it. So hopefully, and I put boxes underneath there to like keep it up. Um, so hopefully like nothing would break. It wouldn't fall forward and roll. It would just fall backwards. So that's why everything is always pushed back. Um, except for up there, <laughs> but this is really light. I don't have much up here anyway. Um, to the left, we have all spring scents. And again, I think I did take one create out even though it's still got six candles on top of it anyway. This is an empty box. I just finished this one. Um, this Lafco candle was amazing. I wanna order a couple more of these because I really like them. And the jar is somewhere in there in the empties, but they're so cute and you can reuse their jars as margarita glasses. And I wanna start a little collection of them on my bar cart because that's what my friend had and it looked really cute and I'm about to copy her. Um, this is like a little bathroom candle that I've never used and need to. I have some incense sticks. Like I said, I really like incense in the springtime and like the end of the winter. Um, so these are all spring scents. Uh, spring is usually like foodie, cotton candy because I don't do floral. Um, this is peony petals. As I said, I don't do florals. Here's a floral candle. Look at the hypocrite I am today. Anyway, um, but that one's not that offensive. And I actually use this more in the summer than the spring, surprisingly. I like this one when company comes over. It's like a, it's not that floral. It's like a pink feminine type of scent. Um, I have a bunch of the Happy Easter candles here. Uh, that's cinnamon sugar donut. Here's a Happy Easter. This is another Happy Easter. Um, there's more Happy Easters, I think, back there. Or not, this is. I have two of the sweet cherry pie. There's a sweet cherry pie under here. I have the strawberry sorbet, which is the same scent as Happy Easter. I think that's a twisted blueberry or blueberry sugar. Yeah, that's that blueberry something candle. Um, that is another Happy Easter. I have pink petal tea cake. I got this at the $8 or $9 candle sale, whatever the hell it was. Um, looking sharp. What is this one? Cactus, cactus blossom. I love that one. I have another cactus blossom right down here for the spring. I really like that scent. I have the Sweet Sponge Sugar from Target, which is like unscented, but I'm going to finish it this year. Since there's like nothing left and I lost the lid. Um, Eucalyptus Rain. That's a good like rainy day candle along with uh, Stormwatch. And yeah, that's just all the summer scents. <sighs> oh God. Anyway, up here I just have like stuff that looks cute that's it so these two little votas from hawaii that i'll probably never burn because they're so cute and they're from hawaii and they remind me of hawaii and make me happy um i have roses of cliff walk probably the only floral candle i actually enjoy it's a really fresh watery type of scent um and Roses of Cliff Walk, I don't know if this is meant to be the Cliff Walk of Newport, Rhode Island, but that's always what it reminds me of. And my husband and I got married on the Cliff Walk, on one of the mansions on the Cliff Walk. So that candle just makes me happy and reminds me of my wedding and my husband. And yeah, so I like that one around Valentine's Day. And then in the spring, I have Juicy Watermelon. I love that one. Super strong. Great in the summer. Um, banana Cream Cake. I also like that in the spring and summer. I like banana scents in the spring. Um, anything that gives me an alternative to floral. I have a backup of Stormwatch, one of my all-time favorite Yankees. It really just smells like a fresh, rainy day. Uh, this is from the Dollar Tree, and it's in Lake Breeze. It's just a cute summer candle. I got it to put up in my pool house. Um, I have Paris Lavender Macaroon. I love that one. I really enjoy it. Um, I have a couple backups of it. I just don't know where they are. There's one, I have another one in my closet and I think there's one downstairs or like that's it, I'm not sure. Um, Pink Sands, another good 
uh, summer scent. I like burning it with juicy watermelon because it's like a honeydew melon type of scent. I just got this one at TJ Maxx. It smells really good. Edge of Paradise. I forgot the scent description, but it's like a nice beachy summer scent. And again, I just thought it would look really cute in my pool house. So these are typically just on display like this one, this one, this one. Oh, not tobacco flower, but these three down here. These are like candles that I just put in my pool house and they stay in there in the summer and I'll burn them when I have company over. Um, yeah. Beachside is my favorite front entry candle in the summer. Super duper duper strong. I really want to get a backup of this because I really love it. Oh, that glitter though. Um, orange cream skull is another one I like in my kitchen when I have guests over. I think I had two of Oh no, I think this is the same one. I just have to finish it this summer. It's almost done. But I love the packaging. It's so cute. I hope DW brings those out again this summer. I got it from TJ Maxx. There is a suntan back there and I think a beach cabana under it. I don't know. There's some candle under there. Um, I have two of the Sonoma, the pink velvet cupcake and the key lime pie. Um, these two are backups. I have the other two that are half burnt of each downstairs. I really love them both. They smell really good. And I just think the labels and the packaging is so adorable. Um, yeah, the backup Mac room, this guy is from, I think Hawaii. I don't know. It's either. Yeah, this is Hawaii. I think, right? I don't, it's duh. Hello, idiot. <laughs> It's from Aruba and this is special because Aruba was Dan and my first vacation we ever took together. So I like to leave that up there. It's just like a little keepsake souvenir thing. Uh, I have the Henri Bendel Victoria's Secret candle. I really like that one in the dining room. Um, it's a backup because I do have the dining room one. I do have the other one in the dining room. And these three are from the dollar store. This is Tobacco Flower. This is one of my favorite scents. And this is from that same little shop in Newport. It's called Seafoam Trading Co. And if you're interested, I would highly recommend checking out their website. Like, close out of this video. Look at that glitter. And go on their website right now. Um, I don't know if they sell. I always just stock up and buy a bunch every year that I go. Um, but this little candle is crazy. I think it's palm wax. Because look how sparkly it is. And it looks like... Um, when Angela, my close smelly candle has shown like her palm wax videos, um, this is what it looks like. And it's really cool because after it burns and pools out, I thought it would lose this pretty sparkly look, but it doesn't, it hardens up and it goes right back to looking sparkly and beautiful. And as it pools, like there's a clear wax pool and you can see the like glittery wax underneath it and it's like crackle wick. And even though these are so small, they are so strong. This little candle fills up my entire bedroom. I love it, love it, love it. Um, they're a great small business. It's my favorite store to go into anytime we're in Newport. Um, they sell candles, they sell wax melts, they sell bath salts, they sell, I think, bath bombs. Um, did I say wax melts? They make lotions. Their pink sugar is amazing. I have the pink sugar candle, the pink sugar lotion. Um, I just love them. So seafoamtradingco.com. Definitely check them out. They are fantastic. Um, anyway, and then up here, again, it's just my candles that I never burn. So <laughs> I have a sticky beach because I just love that label. So I'm keeping it. I may put like makeup brushes or something in there, but I wanted to keep the label intact because it reminds me of Aruba and makes me happy. Copacabana Beach, I'll never, ever, 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 ever finish this one because I love that scent and it's super nostalgic to me. Um, same thing with the suntan, but now I have that other candle to enjoy. Um, I just love that summer boardwalk. Again, just so nostalgic. Ah, that was the best summer boardwalk ever. Um, lavender macaroon, sparkling limeade, my bay. Bath and Body Works, bring this back! Why won't you bring that back? Why did no one else but me and Lindsay like this? <laughs> um, I'll be taking this down for Easter. And then there's, you've seen all these before. And then this is how my friend asked me to be a bridesmaid. <laughs> um, this is really old. We were, oh my God, I don't know, sophomores in college? I, no, was I dating? This was either right before I started dating Dan. Or right, so this is like 11 or 12 years ago. Um, but this is my best friend, Liz. We've been best friends since like the first week of high school. Um, and we have this joke about the plants. She gave me like a banana, like flower vase for my birthday. And then she, this is how she asked me to be her bridesmaid. She sent me this candle from Yankee Candle with this, like, she's like, I wanted to find the worst picture of us where we both look really stupid and drunk. Cause I thought that would be really funny on a candle. I'm like, you're an asshole. Like, how am I supposed to put this out when we literally both look so dumb? Look at that spray tan. Well, she had a look at that spray tan. <laughs> Uh, I think that was a real tan because homegirl is burnt as fuck. Anyway, yeah. So that's it. And then there's some boxes because, like I said, hoarder. Um, yeah. 
So that is it. This is a long video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this update and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.